Join us here at Warwick Castle in the year 1358. And we are at war with the old enemy, France. Two years ago, we fought a magnificent victory. The Battle of Poitiers. After that battle, agreements were made. Treaties signed. But just two years later, the French have taken those agreements and those treaties and they've tore them up. And they've thrown them back in our faces. We're not going to put them back. We're going to react to go What do you expect? So we're going back to France. And this time, we're going to finish the job. No more open shield battle. So this time, we are going to take it town by town, citadel by citadel. Now that means sieges. And sieges can be a bloody business. The easiest way to siege a town or a castle is to simply surround it with your troops. Nothing comes out, nothing goes in. You starve them, that's what you do, but that takes time. Weeks, months, maybe even years. And we haven't got time for that. So we're going to have to take them by force. Now the easiest way to take a castle by force is to literally tunnel underneath its wall. But you can't do that if the castle you're attacking is like mine here at Warwick. Warwick Castle is built on a solid bedrock. There is no way you could ever tunnel into there. So the alternative, well, it's up and over the top of the walls, isn't it? And that's how, ladies and gentlemen, to see your men fight for every inch of the way. To see them climb the siege ladders and then to watch them tumble to their death as the defenders simply push those ladders away. So we put the ladders inside huge towers massive towers of wood. We put wheels on the bottom of the towers and we push them up against the wall. But they are only made of wood. So they burn. That is even worse. But there is another way. It's my way. Why don't we simply smash our way in? Using seed machines. Magnum. Perrier. And of course, the key of all the seed machines, the mighty Tribution! Yeah. Look at it! It's beautiful and it's all mine! 18 metres high and it weighs over 22 tonnes. This is the very latest in medieval mass destruction. There's somebody running in the middle of the like a hamster. It's <laughs> inside the machine! What's that all about? Well, I'll tell you. Traditionally, you float the trebuchet by pulling down that throwing arm to be subversion. Forcing off is always worse. But it has also always had its own inherent problems. It means you're going to tie up troops looking after the horses and the oxen. And on a long siege, if you run out of food, you end up eating the horses and the oxen, which means you're no way to load the treasure. Yeah. So what we've done is we've taken the technology from medieval cranes. Medieval cranes are powered by men walking in wheels. We've taken that technology and we've put it inside this machine. Those cranes built our cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it 